It is September 4th, and as far as I know, this is the first time we've ever had Dreamer's Head completely operational. We have all 12 joints running at the moment. We just finished assembling and installing the new drivers and controllers that we designed. Um, everything's running. The uh, four neck joints, four eye joints, and four ear joints for the first time. Uh, along with the ear lights. Now there's still some bugs. Um, we have a few loose wires on some of the old encoders and we're not exactly sure where but uh, a couple of different joints the position signals drop out for moments at a time and of course when that happens the joint goes crazy. Um, also on the ear lights I don't know if you can see with this camera but we're getting multiple colors out of the ears, um, the very back end of the uh, lights are flashing blue and red when they're supposed to be solid green. Um, that's just because we are bit banging those signals directly out of the CPU using GPIO pins. And toward the end of the chain, it's actually like uh, the each frame is over a millisecond long and we want to run at 500 hertz. So Usually those signals get cut off at the end by higher priority tasks on the microcontroller. So the solution to that will be to move the light bit banging code down to uh, assembly code, just to speed that up. Uh, that's, you know, a purely cosmetic issue. Um, of course, the other thing is we need to uh, repaint the head so it looks a bit less uh, gruesome. Anyways. That's it. Um, we're not using the cameras right now, but we've verified that they work. Uh, the head is 100% operational. 